Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about LISCO substitution principle. Before that we will just have a quick recap. So in the previous video we talked about open close principle and now with the advantage I mean after doing this code change now we are getting one advantage is now you can actually create another class which is open for extension and no modification required in this because now you can actually pass the the object of node to adapter and you it will work fine because now the adapter is pointing to this class object and when you are calling request it will call this method of this particular class right so this is how we are saying that this is open for extension but closed for modification we are not changing this we are not changing this we are not changing these two classes we are just adding it so it's like pure ex purely it is an extension we are doing and no testing is required after even doing this change okay next thing is lisco substitution principle i mean this looks a little scary from the name i will try to help in understanding this so formally this uh, this principle defines something like this if s is sub type of t then object of type t may be replaced with object of type s okay so it's like we are talking about replacing a with b and then if a can represent b then b can also represent a this is what uh, this principle is saying okay so in in mathematics like if we will try to understand it with the square and rectangle this will help us to understand because uh, a square a rectangle can behave uh, as a square can behave as a rectangle right but rectangle can't behave as a square we can't use the same method to calculate the area of a square and rectangle both but in code somehow we need to manage it so that we can accommodate a object of rectangle and object of square can behave like a same okay so let's try to understand it with a square and a rectangle okay imagine you had a set width and set height method on a rectangle based class this seems perfectly logical however if you however if your rectangle reference pointed to a square then set width and set height doesn't make sense because setting one would change the other to match it in this case square fails the the lisco substitution test with rectangle and so we will try to see how we can actually match the expectation here so consider if we try to write this code where we have a class rectangle and a class square okay here we have okay it's a uh, very big let's try to make it small so this is a rectangle class that has an area method and then we have a square method square class and that is extending the rectangle and we are extending the get area method of rectangle into square and we wanted to use the same one but how will it will work for square because rectangles area and square area uh, getting area processes different right now if you try to get uh, render large rectangles and here we are passing two rectangle and one square we can't use the same method whatever we are using the method to get the area of a rectangle right here we are setting the width and height so how can we fix we know that this this cannot be fixed we know that this is a problem right how we can fix it to follow the lisco principle so we'll just create uh, the is a relationship model we will create a shape, we will create a rectangle extending the shape. So let us try to define it. So here we created a shape. Rectangle will extend the shape and we will have a area method. Similarly the square will extend uh, the shape. This will solve our problem. Get area is there. I mean this area will treat it differently. The area of square will treat it differently okay now if you just try to write the same code here whatever we have seen in the previous example this will work because now you can actually pass the rectangle or a square it will treat in its own way rectangle will be treated as a rectangle square will be treated as a square but for uh, this shape both are there is no difference between this shape is treating rectangle as a square square as a rectangle okay so the the best explanation for this is you have a parent class and a child class then the base class and child class can be used 
it interchangeably without getting incorrect result this might this might still be confusing so let's take a look on to this example uh, where is a square rectangle example mathematically a square is a rectangle but if you model it using is a relationship with inheritance you quickly quickly get into a trouble right that we are fixing it with this inheritance model okay now next thing we are going to talk about is uh, interface segregation principle okay interface means whenever we are doing lot of things with the same chunk of code then what we can do is we can actually define the area of interface for feature 1 feature 2 feature 3 we are, this is more over as a segregation segregation principle where we are actually splitting the the interface and feature of each and every method okay let's take a look on to that in the next example